it's Yuri from JavaScript Room and today I'd like to talk about building Chrome extension using TypeScript. Uh, to be more specific, I have prepared a small project which includes all you need in order to bootstrap a brand new Chrome extension within a couple of minutes. The link to the repository in the description, also you can find there some useful materials. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the, any upcoming videos. And uh, let's kick it off. This is a starter project I prepared recently. It's built with TypeScript and Parcel. Uh, we can use this project to build our Chrome extension to start it quickly. Let's go through. I'll show you how you can do it in like a few minutes. So what we need to do, we basically can clone this repo. I'll do it with you right now. We are cloning the repo. We go to the folder. Uh, we go to the folder and we install all the dependencies. I prefer to use CI to install the exact versions from package log.json. All the dependencies are installed now. What we can do, we can uh, just run npm run dist right away. What it will do, this command will build all uh, build our extension, all the parts. Yeah, it takes some time as well. So what we can do now, we go to extensions in our browser. So you can find it here, more tools, extensions. So be sure that developer mode is active that you can install your Chrome extension from the folder. Click here, load unpacked. And we need to choose, we go to desktop. We choose our folder, we choose this folder. And now we can select. Cool, we have our extension added here. And uh, yeah, you can basically see it right now. Uh, for example, if you click here, hey, it's the pop-up page running with Vue.js. And also, if you open the console, you will see the message. Oh, okay. We need to go to somewhere. Let's say google.com. Yes. Hey, this is a message. The content script is running. That means the content script was executed on this page. Also, what we can see, we can go to options page. It's another part of a Chrome extension. Hey, the page is running on Vue.js as well. So as an example, you can use Vue.js or Angular or whatever framework you want for each part of the Chrome extension. And uh, another last part, you can also build a DevTools panel. So I prepared the small starter for DevTools also. If you don't need some specific part, you can remove it from your extension. So for example, if you don't want uh, DevTools in your extension, you can easily remove it. So, but you can see the our DevTools using React.js. All right, so basically that's uh, all the main parts of the Chrome extension. And now let's go to the code and go through quickly. Let's see what we have there. So what we have, we basically have, uh, first of all, I want to, to show you manifest JSON file. It's a main uh, web file with the configuration for our extension, where you can see the Chrome extension starter as a name, list of icons. Uh, they are actually required to be there to build an extension. That's why I prepared some dummy uh, icons for this starter, please uh, feel free to replace them with your icons. So also we have a browser action. It's here we specify uh, our configuration for the pop-up, or basically our page for the pop-up. Uh, pop-up is this one, what we see here, the pop-up page. Uh, then we have a content script. Content script is a script running in your content uh, on, the, on the page. Uh, background script is a script running on the background. It's not related directly to the page, but it can execute some stuff and has an access to some APIs of the browser. 
Uh, also, we can specify here DevTools page, as you can see. We basically specify the relative path and we specify the relative path to options page and some uh, other options as a web says accessible resources uh, we need to add here all the assets and some permissions uh, what else so the manifest json is the main part of the chrome extension uh, our extension was built into this folder so we in the end we copy also our manifest json file into the dist folder and here you, all the path here should be relative uh, from the dist folder uh, so we have also here some configuration for jest for testing and here we can see the our main folder with our code so it's a background content dev tools options and pop-up all of them are basically separate applications so you can use whatever framework you want to use for each of them uh, background i used uh, uh, some just dummy console log stuff i also prepared some unit test for them so it's here uh, for content it's also plain javascript uh, typescript i mean here also some tests and DevTools, it's a, it's a view application. And the main file here, uh, in the main file which we load in index, uh, HTML, the main file need to create a panel, but actual React or view application, oh, it's a React, right. The actual application we have here in the separate folder. So basically this file we need only for uh, adding and initializing of uh, our panel and uh, what else options page is a simple it's a simple view application right here we have uh, HTML page and uh, simple uh, view application here nothing difficult and the pop-up as well, it's very simple HTML page with the script included, which is the actual uh, view application. Uh, for DevTools, it's a bit tricky, but for options and pop-up, it's quite straightforward. Well, so basically, it's the five main parts of our Chrome extension. You can remove, uh, let's say, options or pop-up or DevTools if you don't need them and feel free to remove the folders from SRC and then also update your manifest JSON accordingly. So if you don't use the DevTools, just remove this line. That's it. And then, so let's see, uh, let's say you prepared some code, some applications. What you can do now, you can run npm run lint for linting your TypeScript, it's already prepared for you. So we can see some warnings about unexpected console log. That's correct. Uh, and uh, what else? You can run unit tests, npmt as a short ls. So you can see right now we have a couple of uh, unit tests. It's running successfully. It's all uh, also prepared for you. Uh, by the way, if you want to use unit tests for DevTools uh, or options page, you need to a little bit uh, edit the configuration of Jest and add there like configuration for Vue or React. I didn't add it here, so that one is uh, that part is missing here. So be careful with that. And then basically that's it. Uh, you can create your extension in few minutes. Just clone the repo and uh, edit the files with the typescript all is there feel free to use it uh -huh.